Uh, for full transparency, my OG Bucky cap is over there on that shelf. And as you can see, I'm not trying to dig it out. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? It's the Review Lord, a.k.a. the Ultimate Hasbro Shill, a.k.a. the Fanboy Destroyer, here to do a Marvel Legends review. And all jokes aside, I showed you where my bucket cap is. I'm not being lazy. It's in a blister pack, so I'm not gonna rip it open. I'll only open an unopened figure for reviews if I can put it back in the package perfectly. But anyway, you don't want to hear all that. Let's get to the goods. And my camera is not leaned. It is the box. For some reason, the bottom is warped. But as you can see, he comes with a shield, a pistol grip in hand, and a fist. I'm assuming he has a matching hands on him, but we'll find out when we open it up. All right, there are his shield accessories. He's got his shield shield, shield gun, shield knife, and shield alternate hands. He's just shilling. Holy cow, he's shilrific and shiny. I'm gonna say he looks pretty good. I like what I see so far. Now, a couple things I noticed. First of all, the shield. Paint job is kind of screwed up right here on mine. Hopefully it doesn't go across the whole production line, but that swirl there looks really bad. And oh, I didn't even see over here. Yeah, look, you can see the paint swirls going in. It's not as bad over here. It looks kind of like light is reflecting off it, but over here it clearly looks like a dent, but it's not. And on his belt, these little pouches, they painted the buttons, which is really good. The knife, they painted the handle, the top of the handle silver, and right around there, the blade sheath and the blade are silver. But when you get to the canteen, everything's all black, which doesn't seem realistic to me. And I get it if you didn't do any deco down there, but to stop short there is kind of weird to me. But other than that, that's pretty cool. Now, the paint at the top of his body looks so good. It's that reflective bowling ball type paint. It looks nice shiny the silver pops off the blue i love it now the black pants i'm not a big fan of the matte but i know they couldn't go for the patent leather look because that's not what it looks like in the comic book so i don't know what i'm saying here not a fan of it but it looks the way it's supposed to look now his boots they do have that shiny patent leather look and i can dig it I got pinless elbows pinless knees i think we should add an upper torso rocker here to give us a little bit more flexibility for the range of motion. So that's a big miss. But the paint job on the ab does look good. Continues up into the body. And it's solid, heavy coats. So what's there is good. Got butterfly joints. What every collector asks for. Yeah, he's good. So this head gives us a 360. Good tilt left. Good tilt right. Down range. Up range peek under the hood. Arms get up yay high. I thought they would go a little bit higher. Wingspan, you just about get your money's worth. Could be a little bit better though. Hug range is giving you the business. Nice and snuggy. Those new pinless elbows give me that work. Fists have vertical hinges, but you don't get a lot of range. Of course, the pistol hand has horizontal hinges. I guess horizontal vertical tray turn. I always get, I always get that mixed up. There's that Captain Crunch. Sprinkling some crunch berries. 360 at the waist. Light intermittent well. No, no intermittent clicks. It was getting caught up on the belt. That's what I felt. 360 at the thigh cut. 360 at the boot cut. 360 at the foot. Feet are on rockers. Split range leaves a little bit to be desired. Bend damage is coming through, but not fully. Bend over is meh. Kick is passable. 
those new pinless double jointed knees giving you everything you want can't complain about anything there toe range is not bad it's better pointing down than pointing up though bucket inquire minds want to know what you're working with whoa way too big holy crap i mean like way too big all right you want to hear something weird usually when you google captain america's comic book height you get six four now that google has implemented the ai i uh i opted into that beta they have them at six two you can still do a search and find six four but the first listing that come up have it at six two which i believe is wrong that being said bucky is five nine in the comic books they're way off the mark here so i'm sure we know what they're doing they want to use this mold going forward over and over again but man man hasbro hasbro come on dude you can't do the collectors like that you can afford to have a couple of moles there are some superheroes that are around five nine five ten i understand giving it an inch or two for this mold to be off scale by like five inches that's crazy man he's way too tall now on your display if you have him standing straight up yeah you're gonna see it maybe if you pose him like kind of crouching or throwing the shield like i did you won't be able to tell i don't know about you but i don't have room on my shelves to pose every single character like that they gotta stand up and maybe move their arm or something so they kind of dropped the ball here all right so final thoughts here at first i was really pleased and don't get me wrong he looks good stand alone there by himself it's a decent figure but when you get into the weeds, I'm a little bit disappointed because he looks good. He's like a good looking car with an engine that hasn't been taken care of. Inside is kind of messed up. He's way too big and the articulation, if they're going to use this body going forward, if that's their intention, the articulation should have been better. He's a Captain America. He's a super soldier. I should be getting a wide, wide split. So if I want to pose him into kicks, he should be able to lift that leg up further. Those butterfly joints should be able to go a little bit further back like some of the Spider-Man bucks. He just isn't limber enough to be a cat. He just isn't limber enough to be a Captain America. So what do I say? I don't know. It depends what kind of collector you are. You're not going to get another Bucky Cat for a while, which has been proven because I think, what is it, 12 years between these two? What is it, 12 years between the first one and this one? So if you want a good looking Bucky Cat for your collection, this is what you got to get. But if you're really particular and you're into scale, you don't want to put them on your shelf next to a Captain America. So I don't know. Dealer's choice here. Dealer's choice here. I'm not mad I got him. I'm not that particular on scale when I put him on the shelf. I'll just bend his knee a little bit. I think the collectors deserve a little bit better. I see all the people on Instagram and TikTok that are way more into their displays than I am. And I don't think it's fair to them as collectors to have them have to compromise to make Bucky look good on their shelf. Well, let me know what you think. Sound off in the comments. Tell me how I'm looking on the Hasbro Shillometer. Make sure... <laughs> Make sure to sound off. Let's discuss it. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn notifications. Leave all the comments you want, good or bad. Just don't be rude because I'm a human being. But everybody has a right to an opinion. I will read yours and respond. All right, till next time. Tall ass Bucky Caps out of here. <laughs>